Police say Schuler forged a signature on her background check to get her daycare license and could now face up to three years in prison. The shooting here last night happened just around the corner from a drive-by that happened at this house last week. But because Solon didn't show up for court on Monday, she could face more criminal charges and more time in jail. Police say Leon Jankowski confessed to throwing a homemade bomb through this window and that he has a connection with the company. We looked back and I saw the whole thing happen and it it was the scariest thing that's ever happened to me in my entire life. Rebecca Schilling and her family say she's lucky to be alive. In heavy snowfall, she left her friend's house in Randall late Tuesday night, but didn't make it very far. I started skidding, so I put on my brakes as I was turning, and then I got stuck in the ridges of the railroad tracks. Not having any luck, she called her mom and friend for help. I almost had it unstuck, and then he called me back. He's like, Rebecca, get out of the car right now. There's a train coming. <laughs> So Rebecca quickly got out of her car, grabbing a few belongings before the train came barreling down the tracks. I thought it was going to slow down or something. I didn't know what was going to happen, but I know trains can't slow down. It dented in and then it just went flying. The train smashed into her Ford Taurus, dragging it along before it landed in this ditch and started on fire. The fire department arrived to put out the flames and Rebecca escaped with her life. As soon as it happened, I was like, oh my god, I could have been in there, and I'd obviously be dead. The vehicle never wins in these, so it was great that she was able to get out in, in a safe uh, with no injuries and, and is at home tonight uh, enjoying her evening. It just makes you appreciate everything more because, like, when you are so close to having your life taken away, you realize what you have and how lucky you are to be alive still. I knew that'd be a devastation, but I didn't think it'd be anything like this. Thousands of turkeys are left shuffling through wood, metal, and feathers after a tornado hit Carlson Turkey Farms on County Road 6 north of Parker's Prairie. It's one thing to walk out the house and see uh, see the shop and trees gone, and then turn around and see this old barn uh, heritage uh, gone, and go past that to see Turkey barn's gone and uh, know what what the, the daunting task is. Terry Carlson built the farm with his family back in 1986, but says his age and high cost could keep him from starting over. Whether we rebuild or not, that's going to really take some soul searching. Terry's insurance agent estimated the cost of the damages at more than $1.4 million. The three flattened barns held about 25,000 turkeys. Many survived and are being transported to a nearby farm place. Terry says his other farm place saw tornado damage in 2001, but it didn't come close to this. That was a year from hell. I don't know. That one won't even compare. But as the word spread, friends, family, and farmers came to help save the surviving turkeys and pick up debris. When, when people have a, something like this and you can help out, um, you know, and if you know them, even if you don't know them, I mean, if you, you, you just feel that urgency to come out and help. I just want to thank my community for, for helping us out and taking care of us. Proud to live in a, a community like this. This is a quiet neighborhood. Nothing really happens like that around here. A police chase through Alexandria caused quite a stir near an apartment complex Thursday night. It started with a sergeant trying to pull over a car for speeding. The vehicle was definitely trying to elude him. The vehicle had turned into the Viking Plaza Mall parking lot. They left the paved area, went on to the grassy area, and also at times had uh, even struck curbs. The car then headed to Pheasant Run Apartments. I've seen a little black car shoot down through here, and then police officers have followed and then they come out through here and he couldn't get out there. So he went around the back apartment and he had to stop because there was no outlet. And then they chased him on foot and a gentleman had tackled him. Danger was the first thing that came to my mind is he's gonna put, you know, other people in this building in danger. So I thought, you know, the best thing is just to take him out. Keaton Gustafson, a 20-year-old law enforcement student, saw the chase and acted quickly, tackling the suspect and stopping him in his tracks. The suspect, 20-year-old Cody Kramer of Clarissa, is in custody on seven charges including DWI and fleeing police with a .15 blood alcohol content. 
and Gustafson is getting praise from both authorities and neighbors for his actions. We were very grateful for the for the help and the assistance that uh, he was able to provide last night. I'd like to thank him because he actually stopped it and you know the person that did this needs to be held responsible. I'm not, I'm not a hero. I don't want to look at myself as a hero. You know somebody on the hero would be like Spider-Man or somebody on the news. I'm a citizen. I'm just like everybody else. I'm, I don't have superpowers. I'm just a normal guy, average guy that knew something was going wrong and acted on it.